Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Plague Inc. Evolved. First things first, let me ask everybody to subscribe to my channel and turn off any ad blockers. Today we are going to try the bioweapon on Brutal. Last time we did a ev everyone's equal scenario, what was it called? Uh, created equal scenario, which really felt like just a regular playthrough. Yeah, I did not catch what was changed. What tiny little hidden mechanic was changed. So, this is an exceptionally lethal pathogen that kills everything it touches. So what do I want? Bonus DNA when devolving, uh, extremophile, hard to cure, more DNA for popping red bubbles. I think what we're going to definitely be shooting for is necrosis. Uh, I'm not going to call it fungus bomb. Last one we called flared nostril, so now we're up to the eyes. And then, let's see. Is it boss eyed? Uh, I don't know if I'm spelling that way, so I'll spell it cross eyed. Cross-eyed is the name of the, um, I hope that's spelled right. Anyways, the name of this plague is a plague that makes everybody cross-eyed. Starting in our favorite little place, Southeast Asia. Um, cross-eyed begins in Southeast Asia. So, we have reduced the lethality by deactivating the we have reduced the likelihood of lethal genes being unlocked under over time and then reset the lethal potential so I think I want this one to start to start off with then 4 DNA for that one we need to slow down the lethality a lot for the bioweapon type disease This one is kind of the opposite of, oh I don't know, which one was the one that was really really hard to kill people with? Uh, I don't remember which one that was. So seven more DNAs, that is good. We want to not have anybody dead for as long as we can. Then once we have everybody infected, we'd like them all to be <laughs> So I think that's as much as we can do. Let's see. Uh, as far as slowing down the lethal growth, the next thing I probably would want to start investing in is towards necrosis. That'll be three DNA. But let's let's hold off and see if we can get enough for some transmissions. See if we can spread this disease around a little bit first. Uh, nine DNA for water. That's what I want. I want water, I want air. Mafia is too powerful. I've been saying it all the time that the Danish Mafia is too powerful. Not the Mafia in Denmark, but the Mafia that controls all the Danishes, all the pa Danish pastries in, around the world. They are far too powerful. What's sad if I was going to try and start a Mafia, that's exactly what I would do. I would control all the pastries and sweet foods and good good to eat good tasting things uh, coca-cola mafia too powerful and 
that's not even a joke. Uh, Nestle, in particular, has been cited on several occasions where it just pollutes and tries to siphon massive amounts of water, uh, freshwater sources from countries so they can bottle it into bottled water and sell it to people. Which is a concept that should just be illegal. Selling water. Just on my own personal moral ground. What's next? Will they start chopping down trees so they can sell trees to people? Or chopping down trees so they can sell oxygen to people? Um, scoop up all the dirt on the planet so you can sell dirt to people? I mean, where does it stop? When you can take the things that were on the planet for billions of years do practically nothing to them then turn around and deprive people to the point where they have to pay you just to have the things that they already had before you went and took it away. Not acceptable. Alright, people are dying, which is also not acceptable. So, it's time to deactivate key genes to reduce the lethality. I need another one for 60 a day. The death ratio here is too... It's too fast, it's just too fast. Alright, so now we're back to no lethality. But it, it feels really like we need to start working towards the process. We haven't had time to make it cold resistant or antibiotic resistant yet. Cold countries are getting colder. countries infected. Once they start seeing what's going on, they're gonna shut down countries like crazy. But, so I want to get all of these little re regions, all these little islands. The ones that always give us trouble. Uh, you know, the, certain countries just never give us good trouble. Practically no country in South America gives us trouble. Uh, only one country in Africa gives us trouble. Nothing really gives us trouble in North America except for the Caribbean, which is part of North America, I suppose. So I shouldn't leave it out. They haven't discovered us, they haven't started working on the cure. That's not really where the danger lies, I think. I think the danger just lies in people dying too fast. Use that pop-up to our advantage. Some might say it's kind of cheating. I say it's using an advantage to our advantage. But this really 
gets to my whole point, uh, I have right now a gaming mouse pad allegedly with a speed surface which I'm using and a alleged gaming mouse that I just bought and still going from here to here to here to here to here is not really the way I want to play games on a computer. Let's just be honest, the way I want to play games on a computer is through a controller at the moment that's an Xbox 360 controller but I could be convinced to an Xbox One or a PlayStation controller pretty easily because uh, PlayStation 4 because both of those controllers aren't particularly bad I like them both I'd probably go with the Xbox One I might just stick with another 360 because it's wired there is a problem with the Xbox One, I don't know if it's true for the PlayStation, is that to get a wired version for an Xbox One, I, I don't think that's out yet, and even if it is out, you need like a really expensive adapter to plug a standard headset into the bottom of an Xbox One controller. They've made it USB or something, which, okay, maybe that would work, later down the line if I got a USB microphone, but right now I've just got a cheap, like, micro stereo jack headset microphone. Uh, I don't think it's actually called a micro stereo jack. It's not a mini stereo jack, and it's definitely not a stereo jack, but it, uh, it's like a, uh, something. And so, I probably would be easiest just to get more wired ones while they're cheap as the 360 is fading from the shelves. Nobody's dying? Everything is spreading? What countries are not infected? Not a single one. Good. This is going to work quite well. So we'll want to immediately put our DNA to necrosis, um, but, or do we want to try the annihilate gene? Will we have enough DNA to do the annihilate gene? If everybody's infected, I think we can. It's, it's a bit of a risk, but since nobody's discovering us, it looks like this is going to work. Nausea mutated. We will take that refund. So, if I get this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, then I'll be able to do that one. And with that, I should, that should just annihilate everybody. Even because I believe the annihilate gene puts 100% lethality even higher than even if I could get all the symptoms in, um, in this symptom panel. So I have 56, I'm, I'm hoping to have an idea. Not a single person has died since that little course correction. It's very likely that 100,000 people could across of the planet or in some small area could die and it not go really noticed. It would just be a strange disease. It's easy for things like that to happen when there's 7 billion people on the planet. Fast, fast forward. It looks like we might win here, which means I don't have to play this twice. I was thinking I would if I felt ne it necessary, but it's pretty cool that our first victory with the bioweapon very easily could be that 
No, I'm gonna just leave that. Uh, I don't see a reason to take it back and take the one DNA. Let's just leave it. Um, so few people healthy, less than 40,000. It's pretty much all of them. Come on, Greenland, you're the last one. Alright, so that looks like everybody now. No healthy people, good. We have a small amount of DNA, 64. The hope is this works. Four more DNA, but look at that lethality. The annihilate gene. So how can I get 24 more DNA? Well, we could refund this. We don't need that. And we can refund this because we don't really need that. And we can refund this. go 24 DNA Nylay gene evolve let's watch this go people are gonna die like crazy new minor disease spreading first death in Botswana there are no healthy people left in the world just watch it as it just skyrockets Russia shuts down its borders too late that's half the pe population right there Ooh, this is the danger of a bioweapon. Look here, too. I've been collecting DNA so I can um, increase it to necrosis. I can spin some more DNA to make it more difficult to cure. And I could have reshuffled if I felt like it. They did get to 8% on the cure, but who cares? Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead very fast. Very, very fast. Last few people holding out hope. The cross-eyed is to destroy humanity. The disease that makes you cross-eyed. It'd be pretty bad if everybody was cross-eyed. It'd be a lot of car accidents, a lot of walking into traffic. We'd probably have to outlaw out cars. Anyways, that was 927 days of complex DNA. The killer got to 10% on the bioweapon on Brutal. That got us 70,880 points and four biohazards. That's pretty good. And that's our first victory on a bioweapon. So that is great news in itself. Because now we don't have to worry about the bioweapon. Next main game I play will be the Simeon Flu on Casual because we want to guarantee victories there. But the exact next episode will be a new scenario. Let's see, we're making progress again. I'm glad we're making progress again on the Brutal. Uh, we were getting kind of stuck with not winning on Brutal on these three. So I have three regular plagues I need to get on Brutal. I have the necrovirus which needs to win two more times on casual uh, and then I have the simian flu which just needs to win 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 uh, it has seven yep, seven victories it needs so I'm just gonna have to play it on casual a lot uh, so Still a lot of games going on. Still a lot of games need to be played on Plague Inc. This is one of those games that just pushes you to play it a lot. And I like it, but I'm not sure I like that mechanic in games, really. Particularly when there isn't an overlying story going on that is 
keeping me enthralled and interested. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to support me for further, click on my name right there. That will take you to my main YouTube page. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Any amount you donate will be greatly appreciated. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Google+, or friend me on Steam or Bell.net, all that information is down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.